when you grow up around a language, you start to obey certain rules that you didn't even realise were rules. It just sounds wrong saying it any other way. Like if I said, pass me a egg or an banana, or how the sentence, the big, beautiful, shiny red dog would never be the shiny, beautiful, red, big dog. Would it? Well, similarly, there's rules about how you put out a fire, which you've probably never even considered, even though it's quite obvious how you do put out a fire, just innately. You may think, just throw water on it. Others say, throw sand on it. And some people snuff out their candles by putting the lid back on it. What's actually happening here? Well, a fire is actually made out of three components, and it's removing one of these components that puts out the fire. A very simple rule to remember, even though you might not have even known it existed. Fuel, oxygen, and heat, also known as the fire triangle. What water does is it aims to remove the heat element from the fire, cooling it down. A wet chemical fire extinguisher will also do the same thing, while a foam fire extinguisher will aim to smother the fire, removing the oxygen. A CO2 fire extinguisher aims to replace the oxygen with CO2, and the candle that I mentioned earlier, that also tries to remove the oxygen by smothering it. So that's getting rid of oxygen and heat. To get rid of the fuel, you literally just have to move the fuel away. So if you're in a room with a bunch of paper or cardboard, you would just get rid of that because that's just extra fuel for the fire. This could also mean turning off the power to a switch in the case of an electrical fire. So just with this, as well as the rules in the English language, I don't need to know the rule to abide by them, but it is quite fun to know them.